The performance summary gives detailed information about the quality of the CPR that was performed during the case. The data in the CPR performance section displays chest compression data in relation to the targets identified. The top section, CPR event summary, summarizes the CPR events including the CPR period in yellow, pause periods, and any ROSC periods that have been added. Shocks are identified by the lightning bolt symbol. The depth target is specified and can be set to reflect AHA or ERC guidelines. The target is also identified by the blue horizontal line in the graph. Each compression is reflected by a vertical bar. Those in blue are within the target guidelines and those in gray are outside the target range. The overall percentage of compressions that meet the target depth is displayed as well as the average manual depth. The RAID target is also specified and uses the same color display to identify those compressions that are within the target range and those that are either too fast or too slow. The percent in target and rate average are also shown. Compressions in target represent those compressions that are within the target range for both rate and depth. Those compressions are displayed in blue in the graph and as a percentage in target. Release velocity trend displays the chest compression release velocity of each compression. The vertical axis is specified as either fast, medium, or slow. In one study, a chest compression release velocity greater than 400 millimeters per second, which is defined as fast, has been associated with improved survival and favorable neurological outcomes. If ventilation data is present in a case, the ventilation charts for rate and entitled CO2 will be available. The CPR summary displays the chest compression fraction represented as a pie chart and illustrating the percentage of time compressions were performed and the percentage of time that compressions were not present. CPR pauses and manual depth and rate variability are broken down in graphs on the right. CPR times include the times transmitted from the device from power on time to power off time. Pads on time, time to first compression, and time to first shock are calculated from the power on time. Times are displayed according to the clock configured on the device. CPR pauses are displayed by both the time they occurred and by their duration in seconds. The user can use the arrow to toggle the display to view those times from longest to shortest or vice versa. Pre and post shock pause times are displayed in the table to the right with the averages of both and the total number of shocks. The user can hover over any portion of the display to view information about an individual section. Once a case has been reviewed for performance, it can be marked as reviewed by checking the reviewed box. Performance summaries can be printed and saved as a PDF by selecting the print icon.